That was the first thing I wanted to do was kill the boss. Just, you know, starting off the day. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was actually return to the catacombs. There are two things in the catacombs that I wanted to do. Uh, number one. Remember those, uh, those skeletons with the hats that were running around and they weren't attacking me, so I just assumed they were my friends? They're, they're not, um, they're the ones responsible for that, for the, that, that boy, that boy right there is being controlled by the skeletons with the hats. And I found out that I actually can get a, oh, there's two of them on me. And I found out I can actually get a pretty uh, useful couple of items if I actually kill the guys with the hats, because that'll make the the skella balls break apart. Nice. Ah. <laughs> All right, well, let me grab these tight knight shards. So the guy who's controlling that one is over by the sewers. And the guy who's controlling the other one is down this way. Oh, wow. The fight for the hill is never ending. I'm being very sloppy about my approach here, because I'm just trying to get to these skeletons. Oh, I just realized why my my double swinging hammers wasn't working is because I was one handing my hammers. <laughs> it only took me like six enemies to realize. OK, where did that come from? Oh, hello, friend, not friend, undead friend, unfriend. We'll go with that. All right, uh, so the hat guy, he, God. He would run over here, but he's actually started further over. Oh my god, he just parried me, but he actually didn't kill me. That's good. He's going to get back up. Okay. I do not feel like my heart is still racing from Pontiff Sullivan. <laughs> I am struggling right now. All right. This guy right here is responsible for the big boulder up on the stairs. So we're going to kill him. And you'll see the skull ball up there has, should have fallen apart. Oh, he is. It is actively falling apart. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's why I wanted to, uh, <laughs> to come back is because I had been told that uh, it is a significant item that you'll get from breaking apart these these balls here. So they're, oh my god, I did the exact same thing. So the other guy is actually just right over there. Uh, I have to go down into the sewer section to get to him. Let's see, I think he's coming from right to left.
We'll go sit at the bonfire because I used half my Estus just getting to the first one because I'm being sloppy. I, I feel like... I don't know what... I feel anxious for some reason during the fight with Sullivan. I guess I was... scared of how long that fight was going to take me. That's fine. Okay, uh, so I need to head up to where this guy is. Okay, now we'll take care of the archer. Mm, got another ember. Nice. And I remember this guy would hide around the corner to my left. This guy has white eyes. Don't worry, guy. Your, your days are numbered. I'm just going to kill this guy when he gets back up first. Okay, your turn. I know that we had made friends before, but it turns out that you're actually horrible. So I am I am ending our friendship. I know this is blasphemous for me to say. <laughs> friendship ended with Hatman. Bam. All right, what's my prize? Dark gem. Ooh. Oh. Is that a crab? Little baby crab. I... I just lost a friend. I think you and me could be new friends. That's okay. I accept, I accept your friendship. You and me, best friends forever. Me and Krabby are gonna get along swimmingly. Wait, can crab swim? All right, well, we got a an undead bone shard, which is fantastic. We'll we'll go and quickly quickly burn that. Just as a reminder, these things I believe will boost how much healing my Estus flasks do per use. Now then, hello. I have a few. I can get a couple of levels, I think, here. Maybe two. Nope, only one. I could use spend some souls to get another one. Uh, so what was hurting me in that fight with Sullivan? My defense. I was taking too much damage. Uh, a higher vitality is probably going to be nice. So let's put one point in vitality, and then we'll probably put another one into vigor. Let me just... Let me just spend some souls. I only need a little bit. Let's try using... I guess all three of these is probably fine. That's probably too much. That's fine. Vigor. Alright. Um, I want to take a quick look at uh, this dude's wares. The the boss weapons guy. Uh -huh. sure. Begin transposition. What do you have for me? S sorceries. Boulder heaves. Spew a boulder from one's mouth. I wish I could see that. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a faith. That's like a. That's a faith thing. Hollow Slayer greatsword. This is from the Great Wood. It's a dexterity weapon. This is a faith weapon. This is an intelligence weapon. This is a strength weapon. Okay. Uh, 
Wolf sword. Wolf knight's great sword. So, oh, this is what this is from. Um, the abyss watchers. So that is that's an option. It is a great sword. The profaned great sword is an ultra great sword. And it's one that I just got from Pontiff Sullivan, and it doesn't require faith for some reason. So that's also a possibility. The Farron Greatsword is from... It's also from the Abyss Watchers. That's a dexterity-based one. Crystal Sage Rapiers, dexterity. Demon's Great Axe is both intelligence and faith and strength. Interesting. Uh, Vort's Great Hammer I was looking at. I think I have the strength requirement for that. So I could use that. This is another great wood. That's a dexterity weapon. Demon's fist is another is a strength weapon. It looks like a uh, like a brass knuckle type thing. It does fire damage. Well, if I knew that, I may have just bought this soul of a demon. Oh, I got that from. Uh... Oh no, I don't have a soul of a demon. Do I? I have soul of a stray demon, which will give me Havel's ring, increases maximum equipment load. Ooh, hey, I do kind of want that. Uh, items? Ah, so. Give me Havel's ring. Ah. Let me switch the fire ring for Havel's ring. I just made it. Where, where is it? There it is. <laughs> that is going to greatly increase the the weight limit of the armor I wear. I could basically switch, I think, now to the full Lothric Knight set that I have and still be, like, not fat rolling. So that's that's a nice find. Let's see how everybody's... We'll do a quick... Quick check in on everybody. Gray Rat, how you doing, bud? Oh, he's handing one. Goodbye. Oh, this place. <laughs> okay, you're doing great. How's my my favorite pilgrim man? Uh, is he? Is he? Did he die? Uh. Listen, I know I haven't said hello in a while, but you didn't have. I mean, I guess he wanted. I guess he wanted to die. Okay. Bye, Yol. Rest in peace. Don't tell me anybody else is dead in here. Maybe I need to be saying hello to these people <laughs> more often. Are you alive? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm real dedicated. I do have pyromancy tones. Okay, he is okay. I hope this is the this lady's fine. Yeah, I don't know why you look like you're so sad all the time. Oh, champion of Ash, do you wish to hear a tale? I don't have anything to give you. Have a pleasant, I pray for you. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, the depressed boy up up here, I don't care about. <laughs> That guy over there, he can stay sad. What about the, the the annoying guy that's like leaning against the throne up here? Well, I'm Leonard, the ring thing. Oh, now you introduce yourself. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the man swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell of all Lothric. Oh, okay. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> I've done none of these things. I, okay, I've pillaged. If 
you fancy a proper then kill he has been in prison I can see okay the dark wraith all right he gave me a key okay I guess I will talk to this guy this other guy here <laughs> talking to people gives me things you offed the lords of cinder the undead legion yeah I did so that's how they're delivered to their thrones I like how my hammers look like look like his head it just looks like there's three of them Something tells me that nothing stays in one place for too long. Ooh, a ring. I pity this. <laughs> Give me a ring. What does this do? It was called the Farron Ring, right? Reduces skill FP consumption. I don't use skills. <laughs> the only skills I have are my gaming skills, which only get me so far, not, which is not very. Okay. Time for the second thing that I missed in the catacombs. Um, so you know how I was looking at that bridge and the area beneath the bridge, and I was like, I can get down there, and I thought I could jump down there. Uh, I have since learned that it is possible to get down there, and, but uh, that I have to do something to do so, and that I can't just like uh, I can't just drop down either. And what I have to do is actually break the bridge I don't know which side I have to break oh there we go perfect uh, and then yes and then it acts like a ladder and that is the extent of what I of what I know I do not know what's down here but I was told this was a platform that I could that I maybe not could land on, but this was a platform with a cave. This is the extent of what I know, though. I was just told that I missed something big. Oh, I did, yeah, I missed something big. All right. OK, um, well, first of all, that's a fire guy, which means fire hammers do nothing. Hey, wait, I, I, one sec. Yo, don't be don't be impatient. I just gotta, I just gotta, gotta lighten my weight a little bit. All right, now we'll deal with this dude. Hello. Oh, there's skeletons down here, too. I'm scared. <laughs> that was quite the explosion. Honestly, not as... Oh, I got the soul of a demon. I just was looking for that. That was not as uh, terrifying as I originally thought it was going to be. Did he just... Did you just... <laughs> he just reanimated at light speed. <laughs> Something tells me that wasn't quite right. But this so far still does not lead all the way down to... Oh, it is a mimic. Like, as I was swinging the sword, I saw that the chain was straight. Oh, no. I'm not tasty.
All right. Bye bye. Black blade. I'm. Mean, it looked thin, so I'm going to guess that it's a dexterity weapon. Yeah. It had some, it has bleeding on it. Man. All of the cool weapons are dexterity based. I mean, I guess this weapon is pretty cool too. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty. I'm pretty excited to have this thing. And I really wanted to use the drag hammers, but I'm I'm finding uh, this sword to just be better, like in every in every way. I was expecting him to do like a, the big dive attack. Yeah, like that. I really wanted to do the jump forward. I, this big sword is so good. <laughs> uh, I need to put it away before I fall in love with it entirely. I'm gonna. Pu I'm pulling out the the drang hammers again for now. I do need to try the exile greatsword as well. Would help if I had the weapon dual wielded. Also just instantly reanimated. Just going back and forth between them, taking them out. Like any one of these like crypts could be an illusory wall. I'm just gonna have faith that none of them are since I don't see any markings. This looks like a trap. Ooh, okay, there's a bonfire down here. This is bigger than I was expecting. Old Sage's Blindfold and the Witch's Ring. Greatly boosts pyromancies. Okay. Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.